Let me just say at this stage that a big part of my motivation here, aside from what I want to get done like with the book when it's finished, there's also the part about how I'm going full force after Marvel Comics because they do Strange Tales and they do like the second half of the Versus series where they got all kinds of alternative cartoonists to do like kind of, you know, funky and interesting stories. I need to be one of the guys they call when they do that kind of stuff. So when I'm drawing this stuff, it's always now looking at them going, is it good enough that the guy from Marvel would look at this and go, we got to put this guy on. So with that in mind, finished a whole page and most of the next one when I'm just like, oh, it's just not, I don't know, like, it, I got this far. Look at it. I got this far and I realized that just like, it just looks like he's not taking up as much space as he should. There's nothing dynamic here. And then I look at the whole thing. It's all kind of flat and blah. Right when I started and I messed this lettering up, I had a bad feeling about it and I knew like I was on the wrong track with this. So last night I opened up my sketchbook and I started kind of working out some roughs for these two pages, trying to make them more dynamic. Here is our before picture. So I completely redid these two pages from scratch. Now things are, my angles are much more interesting. It looks like it actually takes place in a physical world. But check this out. So even this isn't the end of the story because these two panels here, like, the, I messed up her face here, the hat doesn't fit right, her nose is weird, right? So, I redid these two panels. Better, but still garbage. Like, this isn't even what she looks like. She looks like a Halloween witch. Well, at this point, I'm thinking, what's the problem? Why can I not get these panels right? And I figured out that it's because there's not enough happening. So I've been reading this David Mamet book, and he's talking about how you have to write for the screen and what's actually going on. So if I've got the queen trying to like interrupt this guy from her basket and then talking to the squawk box oh man what is this so we did them again now we've got more dramatic action now something's actually happening something that's fun and visually interesting it works way better there's always these kinds of troubles when I'm breaking it open and sometimes I have to start a comic book before I'm ready so that I can go in and do stuff like this where I work on a couple of pages and and then have that wisdom to know that it's not good enough and start all over again. That's just a matter of cracking it open, right? And getting it flowing, getting it gushing out. So now that it's gushing, we got two more pages. And when am I going to finish this thing? I hope you enjoyed this little kind of darker episode of a look behind the scenes of how I do this stuff. I'm going to get back to work. I'll see ya.